This right here will definitely not help your punch resistance. It's stupid. Never do this. In fact, that will decrease your punch resistance. But on this video, I'm gonna give you five things that you can do that will definitely help you take a punch better. You might have heard the phrase glass jaw and iron jaw. And some of the things here is what I did before I went to the Olympic Games as part of my training. Number five, seeing the punch come. You might have heard the phrase, the punches that hurt you and do the damage is the punches that you don't see coming. So how can you see a punch that is coming towards your face? Well, it might sound obvious, but a big thing is by keeping your eyes open. Often beginners or even people with a bit of experience, when someone throws a punch at them, the first reaction is to close the eyes and cower away from it. If you close your eyes, when that punch does land, it is going to do serious damage. Now, another thing what will help you see in punches coming is rather than me looking at Glenn's hands here, I want to look at his chest here. Because if I'm looking at his chest, I can see everything with my peripheral vision. Rather than focusing on his hands, if I'm focused on his hands, every time he does a little feint, I'm going to be moving and I'm not going to know what he's going to throw. But keeping the eyes on the chest is an absolute game changer when you're in there with someone else. So your focus is key and staying switched on. If you switch off, that is what might do the damage of the punch landing. Number four is moving in the same direction as a punch. So if Glenn throws a lead hook at me because he's a southpaw and it hits me in the face, if I move away from it, boom, that's going to take the sting out of the punch. If he throws a cross at me and I'm moving away and if it lands as well, that moving in the same direction as the punch is coming will take that power out of the punch. If he throws a left hook, and I move away, that right there obviously will take this thing out of the punch. Here's a clip of me knocking someone out at 15 years old. And if you watch what he did, he's kind of moving and he moves into my punch, which increases the power of the punch. And then that's what put him down. Number three is keep your mouth shut. I don't mean keep your mouth shut outside by not being cheeky to anyone else. I mean keeping your jaw tight closed and clenched together. Now you can do this and stay relaxed at the same time. You might get and start tightening up your full body. No, keep your full body relaxed and just clench your jaw. Because if my jaw is open and Glenn lands a hook there, what that's going to do, way more chance of my jaw breaking. So mate, keep your mouth shut. And you should have a mouthpiece in if you're fighting, which you know, you wanna bite down on that and dig your teeth into that. Now the next one, which is a big one, is keeping your chin down. If I'm boxing like this or fighting like this and Glenn throws a rear hook, look, boom, it can go straight on my chin. If he throws a lead hook and this hands down, straight on the chin. But now if I've got my chin down, now watch, he throws that lead, rear hook. How can he hit me chin? Even if I'm here with my hands down, there's less chance of him hitting me chin. Yeah, it's going to hit the side of my head or the temple, which will do damage, but it's a smaller target. And if the target is smaller, there's less chance of us getting hit. So you always want to keep that chin down. And number one is develop the muscles in your neck. Get a stronger neck. If you've seen someone like Mike Tyson, how strong their neck is. If your neck is stronger, there's less chance of your head moving around when you get hit. The less your head moves around, the less damage it will do because it's not going to shake your brain. And that's where the concussions come in when you get hit and your brain shakes around your skull. So developing them strong neck muscles will really help you do that. And the exercises that you can do to develop your neck is all on this video right here. If you click here, watch this video next, get a strong neck and I guarantee you it will help you take a punch better.